This is Twit. I thought this was sort of interesting. Uh, where do most malicious Android apps come from? I'm going to guess the Play Store. Oh, Leo. Yes. Because, Good well, guess. But that's because it's it, Android is not like a desktop operating system where you're downloading stuff all over the place. You kind of can. But most almost everybody uses Android. That's where they put new stuff on their system is yes. the Play Store. Yeah. Um, we, we have some numbers behind your correct intuition. It turns out uh, uh, it is the the bulk of Android apps are not coming from unauthorized third party app sources and repositories, you know, as someone might think. In a recently published seven page report titled "How Did That Get in My Phone?" <laughs> Unwanted app distribution <laughs> yeah, on Android How devices. Did that get in my phone. Norton LifeLock, which has now been is like the formal renaming yeah. of Symantec. Yeah, they, they are Symantec is now Norton LifeLock. Uh, in, I guess they wanted just to go to consumer product rather than yeah. 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 Um, introduced the result of their careful four month study. They wrote, Android is the most popular operating system with billions of active devices. Unfortunately, its popularity and openness makes it attractive for unwanted apps, malware, and potentially unwanted programs, PUPs. In Android, they wrote, app installations typically happen via the official and alternative markets, but also via other smaller and less understood alternative distribution vectors, such as web downloads, pay-per-install services, backup restoration, bloatware, and instant messaging tools. This work performs a thorough investigation on unwanted app distribution by quantifying and comparing distribution through different vectors. At the core of our measurements are reputation logs of a large security vendor, which include 7.9 million apps observed in 12 million Android devices, so big samples, between June and September of 2019, so last summer, or summer a year ago. As a first step, they wrote, we measure that between 10% and 24% of users' devices encounter at least one unwanted app and compare the prevalence of malware and PUP, the potentially um, unwanted programs. They said an analysis of the who installs who relationships between installers and their child apps reveals that, as you said, Leo, the Google Play market is the main app distribution vector responsible for 87% of all installs and 67% of unwanted app installs, while also providing the best defense against unwanted apps. Alternative markets distrib distribute instead 5.7% of all apps, but over 10% of unwanted apps. They said bloatware is also a significant unwanted app distribution vector with 6% of those installs. And backup restoration is an unintentional distribution vector that may even allow unwanted apps to survive users' phone replacement. In other words, you backed up a phone containing bad stuff and then you restored it to a new phone and brought the bad stuff back with you. They said, we estimate unwanted app distribution via pay-per-install to be smaller than on Windows. Finally, they said, we observe that web downloads are rare but provide a riskier proposition even compared to alternative markets. And, of course, that's not a surprise. You know, one of our longstanding uh, uh, rules of the road is, remember, never download something that is offered to you when you're surfing the web. 
you know, classically, oh, you need to update your version of, of Adobe Flash. Click here. Uh-uh, no, don't. Anyway, so anyway, th as, exactly as you said, Leo, this research demonstrates that it's really just a numbers game. We've often said that installing from non-Google Play sources is dangerous, and that's true, you know, as a percentage of per installs. But the Google Play Store does a far better job of keeping the crap off people's phones on a percentage of the crap basis. <laughs> when viewed overall, the Google Play Store being the source of 87% of all Android app mm, installs wow. simply means that, it's as their research good. showed, yeah, yeah. that's where two-thirds of all unwanted apps come from only because that's where almost all apps come from. And, of course, as a percentage of all apps, um, they're doing a better job. But interestingly, this still supports and doesn't change our long-standing advice, which is don't install stuff just because it's there. <laughs> you know, that's where people get in trouble. Resist the temptation to say, ooh, look at that, and then click, yeah, gimme. Uh, you know, some percentage will be junk that you don't want, even from the Google Play Store. And in fact, as the research as the research shows, since there's so much more stuff there overall, the absolute amount of of junk that is as potentially unwanted on the Google Play Store is just that much higher because there's just so much overall, even though as a percentage it's lower. So anyway, that the, the, that 17 page paper had tables and charts and a complete decomposition of all this. I put a link to it in the show notes in case we have any Android users who are interested in, in uh, looking at this in more depth. 